Strategic Hell's the name. Age of Wonders 3 is the game. And this video is part 5 of my Eternal Lords game. Featuring Grimdark the Crazed, a Frostling Necromancer, against a Tigran Dreadnought. Okay, now so far... I've been concentrating on exploring the map, so let's just have a quick look at that. There's still lots of stuff on the edges I haven't looked at, but um, most of it has been figured out now. And, uh, ooh, see that yellow thing there? That is him. That is Prittar the Crafty. Oh, he's down to four units now. That's good. What I really need to concentrate on right now is building up my empire. It's about time I started building roads, forts, and so on. So let's proceed with that. Um, where shall I begin? I believe I have a builder here. I most certainly do have a builder here. And I'm going to take it up here to build, in fact, Give that a click. Um, build a fortress. It'll cost me 100. I want to build a fortress there. No, there. That's right, on that side of the... I'm going to build a fortress there. Insul. I don't want to call it Insul. I'm going to call it Frostbridge. Because why not? I think I probably better take one or two units up there to, um, I don't know, what do I want to do with these units? I've got an army here. I need to start kicking butt, don't I? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to leave him there on his own. Doesn't take long to build new builders. I'm going to risk leaving him there. I'm going to consolidate my army. And what I need to do is start uh, killing all these people around here. I need to get all the uh, enemies out of my territory. So... Is that me in there? Army of Grimdark? It certainly is. And that's me there too. And uh, who shall I take out first? They have attacked. Right, they've done some combat for this turn. And these don't have enough movement to get anywhere else. It is actually close to the end of the turn. Army requires my orders. Um, This guy... Yeah, her. Frigid Bridget is on our way back. And where's she going to go? Is she going to... Yeah, she's going to help out over here. So... Yeah, one, one little buggy thing that annoys me about this game is the way that bridges work. They appear to go from that hex to that hex. But actually, you can go from that hex to that hex to that hex. So you jump off the bank onto the bridge and jump off onto this bank. So the bridge actually connects to two hexes on each side, which is a bit misleading. And it does mean you can't block the bridge with just one hex. You need to block both, which is annoying. Um, why did he stop then? Why did she stop then? She must have seen something. Okay, there you go. Another army requires my orders. Which army would that be? This army. No, oh, this army. Oh, we can move ten each. Oh, right, I can see uh, some of you need a bit of health. Harpoon throwers. Right. Well, I've got six units there, which are all quite healthy. 
and plenty of uh, ice scapers. I'm going to put one of you in there with him to be healed up and one of you you're the, you're the fast guy in fact you're a tigrant I will remove you and I'll put you in there with him help heal you up okay let's end the turn and see what happens now I don't want oh so that's exactly what I didn't want. I was just about to say I don't want him to come into my territory. Because although we have peace, I don't trust him. I don't want him exploring my territory. Now hopefully I can block that road and he won't be able to move through me. He could go through the mountains, of course. But, um... Well, look at this. Have we got a structure there? Yeah, I've already got a bridge, a defensive structure. And I'm now going to click on Stone Fortress. I've got tons of money. It'll take two turns to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade that to a Stone Fortress. Actually, I really do need a garrison in these. If I move him away now, he's going to be able to move in. Damn. Okay. Is there anyone else who can move back there quickly? Someone with fast movement, who's not... Well, my Frostling Raider... Hang on, can anyone move there? He can't get there. Can he get there? No. Can Norcia get there? No! Oh, that is so annoying. Um... Right, well, I'm going to have to send... I'm going to send two ice scapers. This way. They are going to be my garrison. But I'm unfortunately going to leave my builder there. Even though he could move, I'm going to leave him there to block that to stop Pritar moving in. Oh, Prit Pritta's down to three units. Either he's splitting his army off, or he's had more battles and more casualties, which would be good. Um, okay, let's let's see what's been happening. Corpus Furia has been researched. Corpses on the battlefields explode. Cool. Select new research. Rot. What is rot? Oh, enemy machines. Okay, I don't need that yet. Rotten wall. Strategic spell. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh, costs 15 per turn, but so I, I don't have much mana at the moment, so I don't need to... I don't want spells that increase that. Produce bone collector. I, I want... Uh, I've got to increase my spell casting points. That's very important. Um... Corrupt the source is ready to cast. And, ah yes, I want to cast it on that. So, there you go. We are now all skeletony and scully. And so Whiteport now gets uh, lots more troops each turn. Well, not troops, population. Um... The City of Ice Core produced a Frostling Settler. Oh, cool! A Frostling Settler. Just what I wanted because I want to settle. Um, I'm going to change. I, I'm desperately short of buildings here. So, I realize now that I... Hang on, what have I got? I do not have a shrine. It's a very basic unit, and it generates mana. And this city is only generating 12 per turn. This will give me another 10. So why did I not build a shrine earlier? That was a bit idiotic. 
Um, and I've received a proposal from Trontgarth, the, uh, the war city. The humans who were at war and are indifferent to me. They want open borders and a peace treaty. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, I was going to attack them anyway, but... They probably noticed that I'm not attacking them, and maybe my reputation's going up slightly, so I will accept. Um, I can now move through there. And they can move through as well. I don't expect them to visit me. I don't, not really. Right, now then. Oh yes, I've just uh, got this. I, I have actually been looking at this map since the last episode. And even though I haven't done any playing. Well, I did some test playing just to try a couple of things out. But this, this gameplay video is continuing from the end of the last one. I just wanted to figure out where to put some cities. And I'm going to put this one there. Surrounded by all these resources. I'm going to build a new city there. Because if you notice, the domain stretching out from uh, this place. What is it? Trongard And Whiteport. And ice core. When they all reach their maximum extent, they're still going to leave a bunch of resources in the middle that won't be within their domain. So I need a new city to grab all these resources around there. It's quite a resource-rich area. So, um, army requires my orders. Now, what was I going to do? Yeah, I've got to kill all these people on these resources. Because otherwise my settler won't be able to use them. So... Where shall I start? You go... Yeah, you go there. You go there. You go there. Why not? Let's get everybody in on the act. I can actually have these coming in from behind. I'll have them flanking. Put those there. Then I'll move these in here. To, no, I'll move these in here. There's actually every, all the armies around the city, in case you don't know this, will be involved in the battle. So I'm going to attack this way, so I'm going to have another army on the other side. So this is quite an interesting uh, tactical arrangement. Obviously it's a very lightly victory. What am I up against? Oh, I'm up against some tough dwarves. I do love the dwarves. And these, these are quite tough. There's... Um, I'll check those in a minute. Where's my tack cam? Right, I am up against dwarf axemen. There's two of them. 46 health each. Oh, that's a dwarf boar rider. He's got 57 health. But they are... Um, Ah, right. I've, I've caused them to split their forces. They're melee units. Dwarf Firstborn. This is uh, a tier 3 unit. You've got Lava Walking. Dragon Slayer. Giant Slayer. And 70 health. And this guy over here, a Dwarf Axeman. So, um, quite tough. Where do I begin? Where indeed? Well, I'll begin with a spell. Lots of spells to choose from. What's this? Um, I think dwarves are quite resistant to magic.
I think I'll just go with the uh, Corpus Freire. Oh yeah, I need some. I'm gonna do this actually, a dark gift. All my units inflict curse and extra damage. I have a lot of units, so that's gonna have a quite a large cumulative effect. Now then, melee units. No, not melee units. All right, you go forward one. Ranged units, I mean. Do some ranged attacks first, just to soften them up. Although they still have full strength until they die, unfortunately. Tiger and Sun Guard. Ah. You can run in there. Just to confuse them. Do a bit of uh, flanking and stuff. Right, what are these? Oh, my, my lovely ice scapers. I love these. Out of range, of course, as expected. Not going to do much damage, but hopefully we'll be able to freeze them, or maybe not. They may be a bit invulnerable to that, being dwarves. Dwarves are tough. Dwarves are tough. A uh, bit of a range penalty, but whatever. I get two shots from that. No, I don't. What? How did I not get two shots there? What's this now? My Frostling Ice Queen. Ice Nova. Oh, that is cool. Right. I think I'm gonna... Am I gonna charge in? I may very well charge in, but not just yet. Norcia, the fast. You get there and crossbow them. These are frost scapers. They're, they're probably not going to be able to see them from behind that big block, but yeah, they can throw over. Not so effective, but still. Frostling reanimator, black bolts. Go there and black bolt them. Nice. So that had a bit of an effect. Frostling raider. Okay, you can run in and raid them. I've weakened them quite a bit now. I'm not quite dead. So to finish off this move, I'm going to bring in my Frostling Ice Queen, who is probably going to finish them off and get the experience points. Yep. Okay. Now what's happening on the other side of the world? The other side of the... This is a bit fiddly, these... Ah, come on, come on. These controls. Right, now you're up against the Dwarf Firstborn. I don't envy you. Now, Frigid the Bridget. Heal dead. She's got black bolts. So you go there and black bolt them. Doesn't seem to have a lot of effect. Resisting all the curses. Banshee. Wail of despair. So hang on now. If I click this and then go there. That'll do a wail of despair when they get there. Resisted. Again. No surprise. Dwarves are very resistant to magic. Frostling Raider. Oh, you can't get there, but you can. Target will retaliate. Ooh, they've got fire as well. This this could be bad for my mammoth. Not too bad, no. That needs to be done. Right, the Tiger and Sun Guard. Over there. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. 
Well, they can't do anything. Oh yeah, it's just uh, it's just a matter of heating up harpoon thrower. I thought I've already used those. Frostling Raider. Can't do anything in turn, right, finally. Hmm. Wasn't paying too much attention there. What happened? There's something funny going on there. Is that the dwarf firstborn? They look a bit damaged. Oh, the banshee should be able to finish them off. Nope. <laughs> right, come on. Crossbow. No, not crossbow. Black bolts. Right, move forward one and black bolt them. Hang on, here lies. Oh, right. He's dead. How's he dead? I didn't... Did I kill him? Didn't know I killed him. Apparently I've killed him. Well, you lot have got nothing to do over here, then. Ah. Uh, kill him? Kill lies dwarf axe, man. Oh, let me turn this damn thing. Right, I've just discovered a disadvantage in having troops all around. It's very fiddly and awkward to... Uh, Rotate this damn map. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit. Right, Tigrans, attack! Oh, that may not be a good idea. Oh, then again, maybe it will. Ice Gate Bar. Iced. And Frostling White Witch. Ah, they were... Oh, I didn't realise it was a dwarf there. Right, Grimdark the Crazed, would you mind uh, black... No, 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 no. Come on, death ray him. Anybody else? Anybody else got any movement around here? No, I'll have to come rushing in. Actually, I think I'm just going to press that button and what what is happening I'm gonna let the computer play out the rest of this uh, because it'll take me a long time to move all my troops around and there's only one or two of them left So there's one. That's it. There's just one unit. I notice some of my units are healing one another. I I tend to forget to do that. Well, that was a bit of a complicated fight with regard to moving the views around. Okay, I won and lots of people have got medals. Great. And exploring the flow rock quarry you discover a shield of the tribal warrior, a mammoth fur hat and 58 gold. Oh yeah. And Grimgar, Grimdark has got a new hat. With frost protection. What, like he needs frost protection? 
and a shield. Cool. Very nice. Um, the outpost of Trontgarth has made peace with me. Okay, yes, they made peace. Cool. An army requires my orders. Now then, where was I? I was staying there to block Pritar. And these armies can still move, can't they? Um, yeah, they've got quite a lot of movement. They've got quite a lot of movement. A lot of health, too. So I can do more attacks. What about these? Lightning strikes. Yeah, I can probably do them. In fact, I don't think I'm going to faff about so much this time. Very likely victory, manual combat, and I'm just going to let the game play it. Because uh, oh, such a cool scene. It's a mana node. Mana nodes look so cool. Independents are moving. We've got some flying thingies. I've uh, only got five mana left, so I won't be casting any spells this turn. Lightning shock. I don't think lightning is too scary to me. And I'm just going to auto combat. Now you can just do an auto button before starting the combat. Which will just give a result and you don't get to see the battle. But I like watching the battles, so even if I do it auto, I prefer to start off by clicking manual and then click auto. So I get to see the actual combat take place. And I can intervene, if things are going badly, I can always stop the auto and take over manually. If you just, if you just click auto and get a result, there's nothing you can do, I mean, certain Certain important units could get killed. They do like, seem to like attacking my mammoth. Resisted. I seem to be resisting a lot of this lightning. Those are mine. Again, metals all around. More food for 32 mana. Good, 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 good. Pretty good. Have you got any movement left? You got a little bit. That's just enough to get there. And this lot have got just enough. Now you go there. You go there. You go there. You can initiate the attack. And off we go. Oh, we're up against gobbies. Goblin Butcher, Goblin Marauder, and a Goblin Untouchable. Better not touch him then. Let's go for this. Turn the hexes off, and same principle, I can't be bothered to fight this, I mean, the odds are so overwhelming. I'll just trust that. The game knows to heal. See? Healing my mammoth. The game tends to take better care of my units than I do. Then I, I just tend to run away injured units to get them, get them to a safe distance. I just keep forgetting that my leaders have got healing abilities. 
prefer to use them for attack. Hmm, the squeaky little goblin. Oh yeah, they come. Are these the untouchables? They look pretty untouchable. Oh, nice one. Is that Grimdark? Nice one, Ice Queen. I must remember that. The Ice Queen can go up close to people and do a big icy blast and hit everything around her. Again, no casualties. Lots of gold. And I've got three of those out of four. There's only one more to get, which is this guy. I don't... What is that? Halberdier? Yeah, human halberdier, 45, and a boring boar. I don't think I'm going to have enough movement points. No. Nope. No. Nope. No, I'm not going to have enough movement points to get over there. And actually, I probably need a more specialized army. Unless I can get in on the... Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll... I won't move. I will move. Yeah, they can't move. I'm not I'm not going to bother fiddle around in my armies for now. An army requires my orders. What's this? What's this? Ah, oh, there's a poor little skeleton crawling around on the snow. Where did that come from? It's a cadaver, and cadavers run out of health every turn. Um, so they need to stay to stack with someone who can replenish their health. There you go, and that's the end of the turn. So things are going very well there. Gonna have a new city there very soon. Pritar's gone. Good. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. The Archons are still stomping around. Right. Domain invasion at Frostbridge. Well, there was. That was Pritar, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's right. That actually counts as a domain invasion because... Trespassing. We've got peace, but we don't have open borders, I believe. Let's check that. Let's check that. Your relation. Let's negotiate. I'm not going to negotiate, I think. No, we do not have open borders, so... Not cool for him to come wandering into my territory. Cheeky little tiger. Right, now these, these two ice scapers are going to go there and occupy the fort. The builder will come down this way. I'm going to get the hexes on. Uh, I need to start building some roads while I'm moving. I'm going to go to there. Then turn road building on. And go there. And... I know there's already a road here. Start building a road down there. There you go. So you've got a nice little junction there. I'm going to build a road all the way down to this bridge over here. And I'm going to need someone to defend it. 
And currently I don't have anybody to defend it. Um, maybe I shouldn't have... Right, I'm gonna... I know I'm spreading my army very thin, but I'm counting on the fact that I'm not going to get attacked. Just yet. I'll move those there. Um, what's this? Dwarf Comet. Oh, there's a cosmic happening. I didn't notice that. There's a Dwarf Comet. Production income increases by 40%. Wow, so I should be building stuff pretty fast at the moment. Pretty cool. The city of Ice Core produced a shrine change. Okay, what can I build fast? Um, oh, temple. Unlocks other things. Burial grounds leads to a bone collector. Um, I think I want to start getting the cheap ones first. Archer units produce... What, what can I... I can build quite a few things here, can't I? Warhol will allow me to build Mammoth Ride... Oh! Mammoth Riders and Frosting Royal Guard. Why don't I build a Warhol then? I don't need them yet. I don't need them yet. I want them, but I don't need them yet. Laboratory. An extra 10 knowledge. That... That'd be good, wouldn't it? Cathedral of Bones. Right, I'm going to build a laboratory, get my knowledge going so I can research spells faster. The town of Whiteport has produced a necromancer's dark tower. And next, they're dismantling a storehouse. In the meantime, I will queue up a shrine. City of Tongard has a a Tron guard has a quest available. We have an urgent matter to discuss. Good. It could improve the relations between our people. This lot has committed unspeakable acts. It is against nature. End their debauchery before they corrupt the population at large. Tell me more about this quest. Actually, I'm getting 36 gold off them. Six mana and... Uh, six knowledge each turn, which is pretty cool. Because they are a vassal. So, tell me more about this quest. And they are there. Reward Frostling Raider. Peh. Frostling Ice Queen. Nice. And 60 gold. Stop the Deviants. Duration 10 turns, and it's a hard quest. Ha! Not for me it isn't. Except... Let's check. And what's so hard about this? Orc Succubus. Ooh. Now, I've got to admit, she doesn't look particularly sexy. I'm, I'm not attracted to bodybuilding orcs, to be perfectly honest. She's got Seduce. She'll have trouble seducing me. Mind control immunity, of course. Anyway, she's a tier 3. 65 health not to be trifled with and a nymph oh nymphs have got seduce as well i can see where this is going goblin bard charm yeah it's a charming bunch of this lot draconian bard has got charm and more charm oh dear a very charming lot well, I'm going to have a fun battle trying to take them out. Um, overwhelming strength, I think, would probably be the best thing to do. And um, here we go. It's time for the next battle. Now, you can go there. You can go there. And you can go there. I don't know if you've noticed, but I, I rather enjoy... Overwhelming odds. Very likely victory. Don't know or care what I'm up against. But it's going to be a pushover. So I'll just click on the auto convert, sit back and enjoy the cinematics.
Right, my white witches are granting healing flames to one of my leaders. Could that be Norcia? Oh, I love those cadavers. Oh, I like that uh, windmill shadows too. Great graphics in this game. And off goes Mr. Mammoth. I haven't studied the stats and abilities of all these new units closely yet. I really need to do that. So that I can get the best use out of them. Boring boars jumping in. Hey, they maybe did a bit of damage, didn't they? need to do is work out some army combinations, specific combinations of units that will that work well together to create customized armies. And I can have different armies for Oh lovely. The Whale of Despair. Customized armies for different purposes. For example I can have a fast army consisting of only mounted units, which would be really good at racing around the map. I have, have defensive armies and other kinds of armies. For example, flying units. An army of flying units which would be very handy for crossing water and getting across mountains quickly. So, customized armies with appropriate leaders for each one would be uh, pretty cool. But like I said, I don't know the units well enough yet to do that. So, what do I get? I get a tiger. How cool is that? What is a tiger doing in the Frostlands? Take my reward. Where is my tiger? Uh, my tiger has got high morale. Not to worry. As soon as you join up with one of my leaders, you will get ghouled. Because all my leaders are liches. And they will ghoul you to death. Right then. Back on with the hexes. And um, I am now going to found a city. And I'm going to found it there in a location where it will get four resource locations. So this is a pretty excellent location. It's a valid location. He's going there. He's making a city. And... Um, okay. Because I just got a tiger in the mountains, I'm going to call this Tiger Mountain. Ah, Tiger Mountain. Tiger Peak. Tiger Hills. Tiger Hills. Okay, it's going to take a few turns for that to happen. Um, there's somebody else there to get rid of, and one there. And then there's the issue of them over there. I need to start casting a spell to um, corrupt the source. But I can't do it yet because it's not within my territory. Okay. Leader has leveled up. Upgrade my hero. So what can I do now? Lesser reanimate undead. Target corpse a friendly undead unit. Hmm. Not bad. Control undead. This is grimdark, isn't it? Life steal. Not bad. Hit points, range strength. Hmm. I, I don't know what to get. Um.
Right, I'm going to try that lifesteal. Um... I'll add to my hit points a little. And I'll save those two points for a lesser re reanimate undead. Hero has leveled up. Upgrade my hero. Frigid the Frozen. And what's she gonna get? Inflict Despair. That's quite a nice one. Desecration. Defiles the battlefield. Ooh, protection. I see. Corpus fear. Corpses on the battlefield explode. That is such a cool one. I'm gonna give her that. And an army requires my orders, of course. Right, so. Let's kick the crap out of these. Um, hang on. movement problems. Right, you can move there. Easy enough. This guy can... Oh, that's very inconvenient. Why does it cost so much to move through there? Right, well, they'll just move to there. You can't move there. Oh, I know, because I moved into the mountains at the start of the turn. That's the problem. And the tiger goes there. So only one army is close enough to attack this. But it's easy enough to do. High elves! Do I like high elves? They're trying to run away. I can let them run and become a bit gooder. Or I can become a bit eviler with no mercy. I, I want extra troops in my city, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get them. Just to get some extra dead people to grow my cities. Turn the hexes off. And auto combat. Oh, throw some black bolts. They look a bit like something else, but whatever. Yes, Queen. Oh yes. Ah, oh, they resisted my ice balls. Dare you attack me, you dastardly little elves. What happened then? Did something bad happen to them? Come on, Ice. Oh, I thought you were going to do that blasting thing again. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, nice. Nice ice balling. I attacked Independence and won. An ice core gains 75 skulls. Of course it does. Okay then, so... That can't move any further. But... Right, him... That ice scaper is going to camp there. It's still a wooden fortress, but it will upgrade to a stone fortress in one turn, which is pretty cool. And this is the next pretty cool thing. 
building a road. Oh, he's he's already done it this turn, yes, of course. So it's the end of the turn. And here they come. Are they going to chase me? Or are they going to stay in that domain? I think they'll probably stay in that area. And I'll have to go chase them. It's my guess anyway. Yeah, the Archons are still lurking around, but they're not running outside their area, so that's cool. So, what's happening? Dwarf Comet. Three rounds left. Necromancy 4 researched. Select new research. Necromancy 5. I thought that was coming. What the heck? I'll do that. Hang on, what's the... Yes, yeah, it's, it's only 200. I'm up to 86 now. I can get that in three turns. I founded the city of Tiger Hills. So I did. Which means I, I'm now eligible to uh, corrupt the source. So, can I do that straight away? Excellent. Source corrupted. Now then, what's happening in Tiger Hills? I'll need to build something, so I'll go to... what's... ah yes. I have to start off with the Harvester's Guild to get some population growth. Then, um... ooh, Flow Rock Citadel. That's cool. Because there's a Flow Rock Quarry in the area. Builders all don't need that. Shrine and Barracks. I'll get a shrine as well after that. Just queue them up. And anything else? Whiteport is still building something. Nice core. Okay, so I'm up to three cities. And um, this is the guy I wanted to do. Check the hexes. Um, let's get road building again. Let's build a road all the way down to there. One good thing about having a lot of money is that building stuff costs money. So, valid location. Do I have to keep clicking each time? I'm not sure. Road will cost five. Let's just check that. It doesn't say road will cost five. So... Road will cost five. And that's him out of moves. You can see what I'm doing, of course. I'm heading down to there to build a fort at that bridge to guard the two westernmost entrances to my domain. An army requires my orders. Now then. I'm wondering, when should I attack this lot? Can all of my troops get there? Right, they can't. There you are then. It's not going to happen this turn. They can get there though. Right, I'm going to move those there. This army is coming here, so... I'm placing all three armies adjacent to one another. The reason being that if this lot... The, um... What are they called? The Charming Seductresses. If they attack me, then I'll have my whole army to defend. Is there anyone else down here? I haven't left anyone. No? Okay. Well, that's, that's that then. Army requires my orders. Then, wait. Army requires my orders. Wait. And that's the end of the turn. So... Are they going to attack? No, nope, they're running away. Okay. 
Ooh, there's quite a lot of uh, stuff going on here. White Port has produced a shrine, so let's change that. What I want? Cathedral of Bones? Yeah, why not? Um, or a temple will give more mana. Yeah, let's let's get a temple. Get more mana. Um, City Vice Corps produced a laboratory. Let's change that. Observatory, that would give more research again. Temple will give more mana. I need more mana. I'll go for the temple and then I'll do the observatory. The outpost of Tiger Hills has produced a house's kill. Next in Q Shrine. That's fine. Race command level up. Oh, another race command level up. Can I choose? I can't. But I can choose this. Walls and glacial totems are 50 cheaper. Okay, I'll get that then. Here offers to join. Excellent. And he's an ice mage, a level 3 sorcerer, 200 gold. Show me your talents. Shock bolts. Man, he strikes okay. 20 on the right, frostling, arctic wagon, whatever. You can join. Uh, hero has unspent points, which of course is him. And magic affinity, what's that? But 10 points to spend. Um, I don't care about that. Sphere of Protection. Um, vision Range Upgrade. That's nice. Have I got Healing in here? Fast Healing. Yes. But can I heal everyone else? I need to be able to heal. Don't seem to have any healing. Not to worry. Sorcery, extra spell casting points. Yeah, you can have that. Um, charged army. Hmm. Um, shock protection, magic affinity, spirit shield. Stunning touch. I still can't see any health things in there. Sorcery too. Yeah, get that. You're a sorcerer, you need lots of spellcasting points. Dwarf Comet, two rounds left. Yes, close. Whiteport has grown. Oh, Whiteport has grown into a city. That's very nice. They've grabbed quite a bit of land there. And they've got the Lucky Clover Field. Gives a bit of gold. Trongard offers a tribute. Which do you prefer? 173 gold or 60 mana? Well,. Given that I'm low on mana, I mean, I've only got 8 mana left. I'm getting 93 a turn, but still. Uh, 173 gold, I'm getting 200 gold a turn. And I've got over 2,000, so it's, it's a no-brainer. It's mana. I will accept your mana. Army requires my orders, and it's pretty obvious what this one's going to do. You will build a road there. To there. And having got there, you will then build a fortress. Oh yeah. And it's going to be called... What, what was that one called up there? Frostbridge? Yeah, it goes from frost to frost. Well, it goes to frost. This is going to be called Greenbridge. Because it leads over to the dreaded human lands. And you are going there. And when you get there, you can camp out, because you're staying there. That's your job now. Watch that bridge block any incoming troops. And over here, we can see that we now have a lovely stone fortress, which extends three hexes in every direction and gives me a view range of four which is pretty damn good and an army requires my orders what's this one is it and that one and that one three armies require my orders well there's a lot of odd orders to be given there and we're out of time 
So that's a perfect place to save the game and continue next time.